the amounts of insulin expression that might be required locally um, is very, very low and are really in terms of systemic insulation would be considered very low, but nevertheless, because of the local effect, would have a good impact on kind of a, a strong glucose conversion machine to bring postprandial glucose down without going into a hypoglycemia. Yeah, that state. sounds like some glucose yeah. sensing going on there. Yeah, so yeah, the, there's glucose different, sensing. you know, mm -hmm. versions of this, you know, maybe insulin and another gene, glucokinase to help with like kind of, you know, regulating glucose. But yeah. that, is, that is kind of the question. How do you get the dose right? And that's where it might be, well, you know, we could shoot for the moon and try to get everybody off of insulin or you come in kind of a lower dose that everybody needs and help regulate glucose and, and, and less fluctuations, less um, boluses. You know, I think about this as essentially eliminating DKA. You know, if you could kind of uh, guarantee that, you know, somebody always had some amount of insulin on board, that's a, you know, big deal. Um, so I do think this is, uh, you know, like a really exciting technology. And then, oh, the other point I wanted to make is, yes, what if you do overdose? Yeah. You know, this was one of the first thoughts I had. Um, are you just going to be hypoglycemic all the time? And there are ways to kind of turn the genes off, essentially, that you might have to do like a local kind of uh, injection in that area with some kind of substance to, to essentially damage the muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. But since it's such a small area that you're right. putting the genes into, it's not like you need to, you know, rip out a bunch of muscle tissue. 